here just at Lake Macintosh, the Tulla, Tulla Badeen Dam. Oh. The car looks so tiny compared to look at the size of them. boat ramps at Lake McIntosh. It's also a campground here. It's been the Tannin. It's just so peaceful. You can almost hear the silence. I'm at Tawa. Little train called the Wee Geordie Wood. at this place called Tulla and uh, this is a boat ramp but it's also a free camp it's the boat ramp just here well actually it can't be a boat ramp it's a jetty oh the sun's coming out just just as I'm walking down oh wow look at that
don't know what this one is. Very jagged. Yeah, I didn't think I'd need this black thing for a while. So it's coming handy already. I've just uh, left Tulla to Queenstown and uh, just stopped to get directions. And it got a bit of a disaster because uh, the radiator just gave out here. I'm just cooling all over the place. So, just waiting for the uh, tow truck to arrive. <laughs> and that was a massive hill. Oh, it just took forever to come up. It wasn't overheating or anything, no indication. I only stopped. Uh, see where I was on uh, Wikicamp's map and then all of a sudden the thing gave way so yeah it's a Sunday it's a bit of a mongrel yeah I was a bit concerned how the tow truck was going to be able to fit me on and uh, get me onto the truck but when it arrived I realized it was uh, it was like a Grand Cherokee with a trailer so my uh, GoPro was in the car so I just got a few little shots from the phone but uh, Oh, it would have been great to have um, uh, had the GoPro get a lot more footage. So this is the, basically the first view of Queenstown, all those uh, orange hills. Yeah, good arrival. Welcome to Queenstown. A nice little sort of mining town. Around the corner we go. Yeah, there's the information centre and museum, and uh, that's the Empire Hotel, and the railway station just across the road. Yeah, so he um, he dropped me off at the hotel, which is about a kilometre away. Wow, this is pretty flash for me. This is the emergency accommodation. Oh well, wow, there's a, another bed here. Gee whiz! So I'm at Queenstown. Uh, Wow. Just looking out there. Oh, there's my room down there. Yeah, it's really nice. Had a big wind here last night and I sort of knocked about some of the flowers and everything. Just in Queenstown. Up the mountains there. talking to a lady that said they've had snow on the road to Hobart already. Ever since I've come here it reminds me of the movie Dante's Peak without the volcano. This is the Empire Hotel.
So I was looking at the seats in the carriage, but there. The West Coast Wilderness Railway, formerly the Mount Lyle ABT Railway. Sort of like Puffing Billy. what it looks like in a steam engine it's a turntable at the Queenstown Caravan Park. Got the car back, new radiator, thermostat. There's a little train, a little steam engine with three carriages. How's this for the camp kitchen at Queenstown Caravan Park? They like this fire each night here. That's me through there. This is in the hill just above Queenstown, basically on the on the road to Hobart. Yeah, very soft. Gee, it's like like the whole hill is clay. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently it's a copper mine up here, but that's all really, really soft. I'd love to get the drain up, that massive power line's here. But every few, every few minutes, it sort of starts raining, so can't really put it up. They've had snow on the road to Hobart, which is through there. And it feels really cool. Apparently they had hail here this morning, twice. I'm not going to go any further because I don't know where the turnarounds are. Just yet, because I'm still just checking the radiator. This rain is so cold, I can imagine how it could hail and be snowing not far from here. from uh, 6 degrees in Queenstown and we got uh, we got snow here up on the hill last night just haven't had the sun in a good spot to get a really good footage of it I might go for a little bit of a drive but yeah, stayed here last night in the caravan park. With unpowered bit here, $25. Not a lot of free campgrounds around, so I think it was the best thing just to sort of stay in the area. You don't want to go too much off-road. Just sitting here in the main street of Queenstown, just looking at the snow. The snow up on the mountain there. See that? I was here yesterday, it was just uh, no snow and snow this morning. Quite a few people are out uh, with their cameras in the middle of the street getting a photo. Yeah, the air is so icy, <laughs> icy this morning. 
Imagine how, imagine how cold this little stream must be. near Queenstown Airport There's the old copper mine at the back there I've just popped up to White Hill Lookout but it's raining now so yeah, it would have been Quite a good lookout. Well, you can see a bit, see a bit over there. Oh, I better get back before I get wet. Right, so I yeah spent uh, four nights in Queenstown, two in the uh, the motel, which was supplied by the auto auto club, their emergency breakdown thing. I had that with my uh, premium service. Then two nights in the caravan park. That's a nice little park. It's an amazing uh, camp kitchen there. And everything. I actually spent a bit of time in there. Keep warm. So now, uh, yeah, just sort of heading north again. I'm not going to go over to uh, Hobart via the mountains because not only have they had snow, but obviously it'd be wet as well. And I just don't uh, really want to stress the car too much more on those hills. It is half a million kilometres I've done in the car, so I suppose some ways we need to be a little bit more careful. It's funny, I just uh, had the sun start shining as I crossed a creek called Sunshine Creek. Oh, it's nice of the little creek. Taking it really slowly, leaving Queenstown. I mean, it's cold outside. It's just, uh, just don't want to stress the engine or anything. I feel like I'm up in the clouds. I'm up on Mount Murchison here or the back of it just past the Murchison track and so when I came through the other day and the uh, towing guy great view of the mountains wow you're looking right down at the time I didn't think to get any cameras out <laughs> it's a shame Made it back to Tulla. Have, to have enough coolant in the in the thing there. Up on wood, everything's good. You can smell uh, people's fireplaces, the firewood. Back in um, Queenstown, you walk through the town, you could smell pea soup. So I went and brought a tin of pea soup and had. <laughs> I uh, felt like one of mum's big bowls of pea soup. White posts are now orange, so... What if that means it's like... So you can see them when it's snow. Or frost or something. Fog. I'm just going into Philosopher's Falls. 
to Philosopher's Falls. I'm just near Waratah. I'm just heading to um, Philosopher's Falls. Hey. Looks like a uh, pretty nice thing. I'm not sure if I have to go down or there's a look out from above, but uh, so it's turned freezing now. Yeah. Oh, that was a massive tree. Deep stairs heading down. Oh, I'm glad I put on the beanie and brought this raincoat. A bit colder than I thought. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. oh. I made it to Philosopher's Falls. You can't see down there for the trees. Must be so high up here because from the car park I just keep going down, down, down. The waterfalls are still going down. Now I've got to get right back up. Because I wasn't really sure what to expect. I thought I'd see a lot more of the falls, but no, they were nice what you see there. And it's also just the uh, walk getting here. You know, it's fantastic. I think when I go back to the car, I'll crack open the thermos flask and have a coffee. Sounds very good. I had to stop and rest. Philosopher's Falls, oh, it's just starting to rain too. Well, that was good timing for the Philosopher Falls because a lot of that tracking uh, would have been pretty bad if it was even wetter. So it just started raining as I got into the car. So, there you go, bit of good timing. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you like that, don't forget the thumbs up and the notification button, subscribe button. Welcome to all the new subscribers. So next episode, we'll be here. I'll be going to Cradle Mountain, having a uh, quite a good look around. All right, so I'll see you for that next one. Take care.